So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can modify an assessment that you already created for your class for the purposes of differentiating your instruction for students. So what we're going to do is right now we're in a math class and we're going to go over to an assessment that I have already created for the class. So you can see here I have a unit one assessment and this is a math assessment. And what I want to do is I want to make some changes to this and assign this assessment only to particular students who need modified work. So what I'm going to start out with, I'm going to click on the little drop down next to the assessment and I'm going to save this to resources. Now if you're unfamiliar with resources, if you go to the top of your Schoology screen, you will see an option that says resources. And resources is basically like your personal storage area in Schoology. So any assignments, folders, anything that you create in Schoology, you can save to resources so that you can then bring it over to other courses later on down the line. So we're going to save it to resources so that we can make a modification and then bring it into another course or another place in this course. So I'm going to click on the cogwheel and click save to resources. And now I'm presented with this window. Where do I want to save it? By default, it goes to this home collection and collection is almost like another term for a folder. So I have already created another collection or folder called Modified Grade 7 Assessments. So this is where I'm going to put it. This way I kind of have some kind of organizational system set up. And I'll show you how to create folders in a second. So I'm going to click on that. I don't have any subfolders in that assessments folder. So now I'm just going to click Save a Copy. So now I have it saved. So now I have a saved copy of the original in my resources. So I'm going to click on Resources. You can see here, right now we are in personal resources. So this is my own personal storage area. Nobody else can see this except for me. If you did want to create some folders in here to start saving things, what you can do is when you're in my resources, just click on this little option over here and give it a name, and then you can create as many collections as you want. But I have already done so, and I have saved my assessment to my modified grade 7 assessments. So you can see here, here is the copy of the one that I made from my course. So if, as I make changes to this, it's not going to affect the original one that is sitting in my course. And mind you, that one that is sitting in my course currently, if I wanted to save that the way it is, I could do so. I have already have a grade 7 assessment. I could save it there. This way I kind of differentiate between the two. So now that it's here, I can make changes to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this cogwheel over here and click edit. And just for my own purposes, I'm going to modify the name a little bit just so that I can differentiate and know between what the difference is between um, the different assessments if I do save the original to my resources. So I'm putting a little asterisk in here because I don't want the students necessarily to know that they're getting modified work and I'm going to click Submit. So now I want to adjust the questions and make changes to it. So I'm going to click on the name of it, which is going to bring me over to the editing mode of this assessment. So here are all the questions that I currently have in this assessment. If I wanted to actually shorten this quiz and get rid of questions, I can click on the little ellipse next to the question and I can delete questions. Or if I want to make any changes to questions that already exist, I can just click on them and then I can make changes to the questions and then I can save. And you can do this for each one of the questions. You can also add additional questions. You can do whatever you normally would do to create an assessment. You can do here to modify an existing assessment. So once you have the assessment kind of modified the way you want, what you're going to do is go over to the course where you want to bring this assessment and assign it to a particular student or students. So I'm going to come back over and I'm actually going to go over to the same course because let's say I want to create, um, I want to bring this modified assessment into the course already that I have going and I just want to designate it to certain students. So I, what I can do is I can go over to wherever you might create a folder or you can put it in the same folder and I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to add my assessment here. Let's add it to the end over here. So going to go down my list and I'm going to click on that green dotted line so my assessment goes where I want but instead of now creating something from scratch 
I'm going to see an option that says import from resources. So I don't have to click add an assessment and redo the whole assessment over again because I already modified it and I have it in resources. So I'm going to click import from resources. I'm going to go to my modified grade 7 assessments and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to import it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at my advanced options just to make sure that everything is set the way I want. I do want to assign a due date for this. Um, I've made my point value is only 10, my grading period, and then I'm going to click import. So that's just one step. Right now, we haven't assigned this to any particular students. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on edit. And I want to make sure now that this is only available to certain students. And one thing I failed to mention over here with assessments, you do have to manually make sure that you enable students to be able to take the assessment that by default is disabled. And then down here, in order to make sure that only the students I want see this assessment and can do this assessment, is I'm going to go over here to where it says Options. And now when I click on Options, I can assign this to very specific student or students, or if you have created a grading group, which is sort of a group of students that all will get this particular assignment or assessment without having to type in their names individually all the time, you can do that. Now I have another video on how to create specific grading groups. So I have already created a grading group which has a few students in it that are going to be getting these modified assessments called the blue group. They will not know that they are called the blue group. They will not see anything having to do with any of this. This is just for, for me to know. So when I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click now save changes. So now this particular assessment is only going to be viewable and accessible by those students who are in that blue group. And again, you can organize this. You can have a folder just designated. You can create a folder just designated for that particular um, grading group that you created, and you can put all of the assessments and assignments in there. But this is a simple way to take an assessment that you've already created, modify it, and assign it just to two particular students without having to do as much work by recreating the assessment all together all over again. I hope this helps.